Hey guys, Ash Lane here coming at you today talking about the treasury and how best to use it. The treasury was added actually today along with the star bonus. So what we're going to do in this episode is I'm going to get my last star of the day to complete my star bonus. So I'm going to do a live super queen raid for you guys. And uh, then after that, or I guess throughout that process, we'll discuss how to use this treasury system. What, what is the best way to use it? First, let's talk about how you can make deposits into your treasury. Think of it like a bank. So you can get the uh, the star bonus, or obviously you guys know what used to be the war bonus, the war loot bonus. Now you can put that in your treasury. So those are the two ways. Knowing Supercell, I'd, I'd guess that in the future there'll be more ways to get loot in there because once you get it in there, it becomes much more valuable than it otherwise would have. We'll talk about why as we find a good raid to get my fifth star so I can get something in my treasury as an example. So I guess we'll hit this base here. I'm aiming for over 2,000 Dark Elixir. I am Dark Elixir farming here. I don't have a poison cooked up, so hopefully... There is nothing in that clan castle. Usually I just run two rage and, uh, in, a, in a poison or two instead of the three rages. But we'll make it work here. We'll get to this center one way or another. Where is the uh, Where are the pumps here? Because I don't think it's all in that uh, storage there. It looks pretty empty. Oh, okay, up, up north the pumps are. So we'll come in from the east and we'll move this attack. Uh, we'll, we'll allow the queen to walk up north if we have to. So putting the, putting the uh, healers down gonna try to put some giants down a little bit early maybe target this air defense try to get that out of there hopefully there's nothing in the clan castle or maybe a lava hound would be all right but a bunch of uh, uh a bunch of ground troops isn't what we wanted here but we'll go ahead and we'll recover here we're gonna put a a few wizards on the board and also might have to use a rage on the uh, the queen or, or the healers or use the queen ability so gonna drop a few more wizards here let's use the queen ability now get rid of these clan castle troops and then we might have to use a rage spell so this is not gonna be textbook but I, I'm still confident we'll get the job done here we're gonna make sure she travels north here rather than south because we want to make the entry point onto those two drills that's going to be key here but anyway as i do this here as i try to funnel this uh, situation and get it under control we'll go talking about the uh, the treasury again because uh, this is not supposed to be how to do a super queen video it's supposed to be how to manage your treasury so the queen will hopefully walk north over here and then we'll get back on, on topic here. Let's go ahead and heal these, uh, rage these healers. Okay, things look to be going better here. We'll get that cannon down and things should be back to normal. She'll go for the sweeper and then for the cannon, I think. And there it is. Okay, good. So, once we get our fifth star off of this battle here, what we're going to do is, uh, we're going to go ahead and keep the loot in the treasury. So I said earlier, just going to drop in some giants over here. Drop my earthquake spell and everything will be good to go in this raid. Uh, you want to keep your loot in the treasury, right? Because the idea with the treasury is not like, if you're anything like me, you used to go ahead and collect your war loot right as soon as the war ended. I mean, there wasn't much of a benefit to keeping it in the clan castle. Sure, it was a little bit harder for the enemy to collect, but let's be honest, you couldn't save up too much loot in the clan castle as is anyway. It could hold like two and a half... Uh, or depending on your level, obviously, worth of war loot. It, you know, it wasn't, I mean, it was a smart decision to go ahead and leave it in there, but, uh, you know, most of the time, more often than not, you would just withdraw. But now this is going to be a tool that you're going to use, a smart attacker, a smart farmer, is going to use the, the treasury like a super safe hiding spot for your loot, because... This is loot that, I don't know what the exact percentage is, Supercell didn't release that number. My guess is like 3% or something like that, so the attacker will only be able to steal a very small percentage, much less than storages and, uh, and, and pumps, certainly. So, you can protect this loot, think of it like I said, you can see this raid's going pretty well here. The queen got all the dark elixir, so things are good here. We're gonna go ahead and end it in a second. Uh, but you can see once you put the once you make a deposit into your bank, your loot is pretty safe. Even if somebody comes and raids your house, you'll still have that money in the bank. 
So when you want to save up for expensive upgrades, you can see my treasury now has some stuff in it here because I'm going to go ahead and uh, use the star bonus that I got. So you can use your star bonuses, save those up daily, make sure you're getting your five stars, and then anything that you get from wars, save that up as well. And then when you get close to those expensive upgrades, go at, like, for example, right here, I have the expo, would probably be my most expensive upgrade available on my Vexthal account. So, if I wanted to save up, you know, 5 million gold, I could go ahead and do that using the, the treasury as a super safe place to put at least uh, almost half that. Obviously, you guys might have already known this, but the, uh, the, the clan castle level does not dictate how much you can hold in your treasury. Rather, it is the, uh, the level of your town hall and the level of clan perks. As you can see here, if you go to the new clan perk screen, uh, level 10, for example, gives you a 50% bump that's pretty big, and now it actually means something. Back when it was just your war, your, you know, your clan castle with your war loot, I didn't get too excited about the increased capacity of the, uh, the war loot. I mean, big deal. Now, you have that extra added, uh, security onto your treasury so it's a good way to save up for those expensive upgrades don't use them on cheap upgrades rather use this loot on expensive upgrades that way you know it's really hard especially when you get to town hall 10 and 11 to save up 8 to 10 million gold uh, to get those really expensive upgrades it's really difficult now hopefully a little bit of the burden should be off the defender off the individual and you can use that treasury to stockpile loot and then turn around and upgrade those really expensive ones. So, for example, if I wanted to get an 8 million gold Inferno Tower upgrade, I would only have to save up 6 million in my storages and then throw 2 million in from my treasury. So that's how you should use it. Make sure you take advantage of that and make sure you're going ahead and getting those 5 stars a day because that will really start to add up and that will just be a bonus that you can keep nice and safe and use it to help with those expensive upgrades. So, guys... I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed the not-so-perfect uh, Super Queen there. But either way, uh, had fun bringing it to you. Had fun discussing the uses of the treasury. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, take care, guys.